probably go to here. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some cleanup. And a lot of crafting. And a lot of manual labor. Fun. Pretty nice day. With our inventory cleaned up. Another run through the exhibition under my belt. I uh, gave Barkimedes some treats, though he still wants more. Barkimedes is a greedy boy. And honestly, in second thought, we shouldn't have not left the expedition site because um, apparently Janos was there. Waiting for us. I don't know why. I think he's at the. He's got to be at the fishing spot. His his house. He's got to be at his house now. I would hope, but I ran past him. Damn, you have a corruption like right near your place. I ran past him. Oh, is that is that Grace? No, that's not Grace. That's William. Oh, the red from the back of his shirt made me think it's red. Okay, so I guess Giannis wants to admit him at the expedition site, not here. Is that it? His ledger? Fantastic! With this, I can learn a great deal. Some of the notes he made here. Fascinating. Who knew? Oh, yeah. Also, Simon turned into a giant um, blue monster. He laughed at me. Just thought you should know. Based on the foreman's ledger you recovered, it's clear that the Amrine excavation delved into an underground network of ruins that actually led to the shattered obelisk. I knew there was more to that place. More to the obelisk? Yes. The foreman's notes suggest the existence of a side entrance that could actually allow a small group oh, yeah, to I know inside. of it. Can you imagine the secrets hidden in there? You must go there for me. You must. What do you expect me to find there? The ledger speaks of a star stone diadem, apparently an artifact from the ancient ruling class. The power of such a thing would only be surpassed by its value to my research. Recover the diadem for me, and I will give you its equivalent in exchange. All right, you got yourself a deal. Let's switch this to area real quick. That's a lot cleaner. Let's harvest those bad boys. I think there's iron nearby, if I remember correctly. I do need some iron. I always need iron, so, to be fair. I also gained a level. Just dumped three more stats and three more points of dexterity. Nothing special. Focusing on crafting a lot lately. And gathering. More so than fighting, I think. Aha. You're next. Now, where's that iron? It is in here. My compass should be able to pick it up. Just in case I want to take a look around. Is that iron? That is iron. Aha, I knew you were here. This shouldn't just hiding my mustache. Gonna give me an excuse to not groom it. I know, I know I'll be lazy about it if I don't have to. Right. Let's head back to the to some fur. Where where'd you go? There you are. 
more. I need some fur. I need some hide. Thank you. Let's get back to that fast travel point. Fast travel over to the expedition site. Talk to uh, Master Yanos there. No, it was over here. I, I am at a, at a. I am there. Oh, there you are. Yanos! Let me just, let me just kill this thing. Okay. Sorry. I just have a deep hatred for rabbits. That's not true. They're cute. I just have an addiction to hunting them down and stripping them of their fur. The rabbit stew is pretty good. Look at that! An empty heart gem. Almost brings a tear to my eye. Almost. Take a good look. Because this thing is going to become part of you. Forever. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, it's pretty cute. Look at it's not that! Ugly. An empty heart gem. A soul warden's power comes from creating distance in your soul, like a firebreak in the forest. The heart gym provides that barrier, inuring your soul against corruption. Will I be immune? Not entirely. That makes sense. You can still fall to temptation or rage, but it offers protection, a buffer. Sadly, it also buffers against the taste of food, the warmth of sunlight, the love of another. Oh. Are you sure you're ready? Listen, I don't really have a choice. Either that or a crazy living. Crazy lady living in my head. So. Um. And I can't let rage? Because I'm, I'm pretty mad. Because indirectly, she me, she's causing me to, well, never be able to love or feel love. That's insane. I hate this island. Okay, yeah. What do I have to do? Oh, that part is simple. Easier than it was, at least. You just have to die. Once again, I can't hold your hand, but my spirit is with you, and I will see you on the other side. Godspeed. Yeah. Of course I have to die, of course I have to die, of course it's just... I'm just gonna kill myself, right? That's, that's, the, whole, that's the whole thing? I mean, oh, okay. So there's a temple over there. I'm supposed to go there. And die. I'm guessing I have to die in a very specific way, I can't just, I don't know. Jump off a really high tower. Sewer flames. Pages burned, but it looks like it was written on after it was burnt, not before. Oh, interesting. My hand shake as I write this. I was a fool. First aspired the great light. The light grew above me like the dawn of a second day. My light, my heart leapt with hope. And again, when I saw the torches along the road blossom into blue flame, it was as if I'd woken in the island itself. Grand Vale's journey. Then, then a terrible silence from a spire 
as the light streaming from it froze in the air as if paralyzed by touching touching the earth i confess i was consumed by a growing dread and i fled along the road the blue flames leaving my steps as it turns out here to the temple ruins from before the temple was no sanctuary had those your flames summoned me here whatever happened occurred at the spire it had touched there touched here as well awakening something terrible i saw the same blue fire that lit the lanterns of the road now burn within the chest of the skeletal figures i had taken for dead they were not dead i see now merely sleeping now they walked blades drawn circling the temple with dark intent what have i awoken May the power of the have mercy upon my soul so this guy grinville is the reason why that thing exploded <laughs> I should thank him. Because if he hadn't, well, I don't think I'd ever would have been on the path to becoming a soul warden. And I'd be stuck with the uh, crazy lady whispering into my head. I know you guys aren't sleeping. He didn't, but I do. something over there. Let's go check it out. Skin you. Oh, what's that? Over there. Looks like something I can harvest. What? <laughs> Life floor. Hey 
guys, how you doing? Oh, nice of you to wake up and say hello. Bastards. Dude, these old people do I have to kill? Oh no, you don't get away. Aha. I wasn't talking about you. Kill you to get the rabbit, I will. Hey there, buddy. God. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, leave me alone. Hey, stop that. It's getting dangerous. I take it you're to blame. move the great stone from the coffers so I continue my examination of the statues. Rolf urged me to make haste, but night came swiftly upon us. As we sought to leave, we saw shapes in the darkness, white light among the trees, humans but drifting across the ground. Rolf said we must not leave. The temple m might be dangerous, but but wandering in the dark outside was far more dangerous, and so we waited the night, neither of us sleeping. Just when we thought the night had become safe and still, another ghostly figure would float from beyond the trees, as if reminding us they were never far, and they would never leave as long as night was upon the temple. May we make it through the night, we will leave this place. Head to the great obelisk to the west, perhaps. The skeletons around the perimeter and inside the temple. I should have heeded the warning. At least they have not ri arisen as the wraiths have. They remain still at their posts, else these would be my last words to you. Well, they're not still anymore. Anybody need help? Two people dying. Did you think our bond severed? Uh, yeah, I did. How come that person's taller than me? When I died, I feel like I got shorter. Why did I get shorter? Uh oh. I think something happened. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're outside. Cool. Fine. Fantastic. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh, now that's how it comes to this. Again, I swear I got shorter. Oh, 
I change when I die? Wrong way. I read this already? I have. Oh, wait, now I'm taller? I'm confused. Oh no, I'm still the same height. I think we we're just standing on like different levels. Welcome back, Soul Warden. You are now part of a legacy that goes back beyond the reach of history. Woo. You have done more than surrender a life. You have surrendered your own soul. I salute your sacrifice. Yeah, too bad. She's still in my head. The initiation of a new soul warden once called for a feast attended by the entire order. But with just the two of us, I suspect it would make for a rather dull affair. We need to recruit more soul wardens. We have yes, another one right here. We must find allies as well. We needed to repeat the failed experiment of doing this alone. Such fools we were to turn away those who sought to support us. Why did you turn them away? Arrogance. The childish notion we were special. That we alone were destined to save the world. Ah. Uh. There was a priest who warned us, counseled humility, but we refused his suggestions and his support. You can search for him now. Hmm. He's suitable He's probably still alive. Force. Brother Umberto trudged off to Brightwood, as I recall. It's a dark and dead forest now. But perhaps he remains there. Meet me at the Shadow Mind Shrine, and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Well, Nelly. Off he goes. Shadow Mine Shrine. Said Brightwood. Oh, it's over here. Well, we have a lot to take care of. A lot of allies to build. Let's go to Dust Meadow Shrine for now. Go and talk to Tekla. Tenants have been defeated. <laughs> Good. Uh, they deserve much worse. But this will suffice for now. We've got a war coming. What are you holding? Could it be? I thought the locket was lost forever. Thank you for finding it. Oh my Audrey. Sorry. Can't be easy. Oh, that locket reminds me of happier days. Days when we would go to Meadow Lake Fishery to gather her favorite flowers and watch the sun set across the water. You wanna go there? No. Oh, it is too painful. But if you find yourself heading in the direction of Meadow Lake Fishery, perhaps you could gather a bouquet for her. <laughs> no matter where she is, what became of her, I think Audrey would like that. All right, sounds good. What did you give me? You gave me a coin purse. But also, this. That's gone 345. Intelligence. 16 intelligence and pylon burst. Say less. Where's these two. Warden's blade. Excavation hatchet. Hey, it's been a while since we've done. Oh, that's right. If anything, I should change the name from this, from 
Void Knight to Frost Knight. There's a lot to do. Uh, almost too much to do. Looks like we have to go here. Ah, the Metal Lake Fishery. Well, it's close by. We can start on that. Take things one step at a time. Now that that is over, priority is going to be shifted. This way, huh? are going down. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Range. Got it, got it, got it. They're just like ha hacking down trees. What are they building? Move again. Mind? I'm busy with something important. It's for a friend. Come here. That pylon is giving me away. So we gotta go back now. Wait a minute. No way. I wanted to grab this. Yeah, I did. Now we can go back.
it was too painful to come here, but yet you're basically here. Stop short. A few feet away. Wait, what's that? Am I just seeing things? I might be just seeing things. Oh, no. Orange Prisma Blue. Okay. More pigment the better. I need more dyes. Not a red dye. But at least everything matches now. Hey. Your willingness to help a stranger has taught me much. It's not just about hating the corrupted. It's about loving the living while you can. And apparently I can't love anymore, so... <laughs> Uh. You, you have been a balm to my weary heart, but I, I need some time alone. You must be worried sick by now. You can go put his mind at ease. You going to be okay? Hmm. Not today. But perhaps tomorrow, or the day after that. You needn't worry about me. You've done enough, and I promise not to forget your kindness. Don't. I need to pull some favors, a lot of favors, to get support for the coming, coming war against the corruption. Why am I walking there? Where's that stupid... Ah, there it is. Oh, hello. This way, and explorers, and then maybe visit the syndicate. Go that way. For that, we would need to go on foot, unfortunately. Tricky. There's two of them. Is there a nest nearby? Imagine seeing your turkey love die before your eyes, right before your death. Must be tragic. Yeah, better to live than. Where'd you go? There you are. Live and died, never to live at all. Which would happen if you let me find your turkey nest? It's going which way? That way. Cool glove. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tekla. I think I'm probably have to then take on this guy. Thank you. For the crafting mod. So peaceful, you would not think there was a horde of corrupt there right next to me. Is that put on fire? Yikes. No, no, it's just a pyre for some reason. Where are we? I hear a sound. Chopping down. Oh, it's probably the corrupted the chopping board. Aha. Hey, what's this? Oh, that's fine. Don't mind if I do. Move too fast. Wait, can I chop this down? This thing is huge! do it just for the fun of it. Just to say I've done it. Whoa, look at that! 
Look at it. Look at it. Over here. All right, I'll remember the spot. Just to come here and do that again. Daybreak Burrow. Oh yeah, I forgot you guys. I'm not using the damage from uh, my gauntlet. Daybreak Falls. Dear men, the defenders have fallen. After so many deaths, we have lost our once proud town guard to clearing madness or desertion. The withered horde from the Keller farmstead was too strong. First an imaginable trickle of shambling flesh, but now flowing like a heavy stream of rot and decay, this place has become overrun and little remains of the herb fields. We have no choice but to join the walled settlement to the west. Our hopes of a free and prosperous burrow outside of such confines have been utterly dashed. Yeah, it has. You hate to see it. Now I'm gonna sc scour your place for lacing. Hey right, guys. By picking up the paper and holding it up to light, you can see a few lines of text. Superior de inferibus, inferior de superibus. Some sort of outcome recipe. You carefully copy the le legible text from the paper fragment, but it's meaningless on its own. You need more information to make sense of it. Okay. Hmm. These bottles have something to do with it. Oh yeah, I got Oh, also got attribute points. Double mold dexterity. Let's see here. I got my What are we doing here? Which one do we want? Ultimate frost, double pylon. Yeah, probably this. Uh, increases damage by pylon. Do that. Let's grab this. Look through here. Look through here as well. There's more bottles to grab. you before. Don't mind me, just passing through. You met my buddy Pylon? Okay. 
All right, we wanted to go to here. Follow this road. Nope. This way. Yeah, pretty much. There we go. Guessing the syndicate hideout is up there. I'm not really familiar with this area yet. Zara Torner. What's that you've got? Superiore de inferioribus. I found us at the farm. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you found? This recipe may reveal the very nature of the cosmos to us. Yeah, I doubt it. That sounds unlikely. I would not expect the casual observer to recognize the import of Hugo of Santala's writings. Hmm. From what I can discern, this potion should call down cosmic starlight upon its imbiber. Here you are. Oh, sure. Call down the starlight? <laughs> oh, that for a silly parlor trick. What does that mean? Uh, despite my disappointment, this recipe was a valuable find. A sharp reminder that the mysterious infinite laughs at our puny efforts. Right, that's kind of why I told you. Probably isn't gonna <laughs> this random piece of paper in a farmhouse isn't gonna, you know, solve life's mysteries. Oh crap, I was supposed to go from here, wasn't I? Crap. What are you doing over here? Side of a mountain. Probably from the syndicate. Following their curious minds, as they imagined they would do. Oh, there's like a little path up. Whoa. Oh, of course they would have it inside of an ancient shrine. Of course they would. Where? What's in there? What's up with this place? Soft. What's with the doctor's masks? Aventus Valenti. <laughs> Thank you for helping to resolve those uh, <laughs> unexpected consequences. Right. We do important work here, studying Azos applications, but it is not without risks. Uh, yeah, like making giant in, wolves. If you would introduce yourself to Cleo. Okay, this is Cleo. Fancy. You're Cleo, you're not Cleo. to talk about here freely, you must get approved by Kabbalist and Sayat first. This is a sanctum, after all. Okay, but that's not Cleo. 
I'll say I just someone does not clear. I play on You have that look about you. Does she speak to you as well? I'm sorry, what? I hear the whispers of Eternum. Oh. Not all are as blessed as we. That's what you mean. Oh, never mind. I thought you were talking about someone else. Let me spooked for a second. Pop. Where did she get that nickname, I think? Then bang! It hits him. Uh. Ah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Tree over here, isn't it? Laurent and ah, Crockers. Son who wanders without knowledge of the destination. How curious. Well, isn't what? That's you guys, right? You guys don't know the destination. Oh, there's a shrine. There's just one light coming out of it. Ah, you must be clear. Oh, you are let's say His enthusiasm for research is admirable, but it creates complications from time to time. He must make friends regularly. The syndicate values those who help him uncomplicate his results. From Egypt? You born here or are you from there? Tell me more about the syndicate. The syndicate. Scholars, arcanists, inventors, explorers of every kind. This land suits the intellectually curious. Those who can handle a measure of danger, doubly so. You are welcome here. Return to Aventus. Okay, well, I we got her mark of approval. We're okay. A newcomer! Care for a drink? I don't get many volunteers these days. I'm gonna take that as a sign and not take you up on that. Aventus. After that mishap with the wolves, I must return to experimenting and trying anew. A different formula, or perhaps a new approach. Fortunately, research is what this place was built for. What I am built for. It's good for you. The facilities are impressive. Oh, you like them? If you join us in the Syndicate, they will be yours to use. Uh, should you be interested, I would like to test your mind as well as your body. Okay, go on. Azoth, the mysterious element that runs deep in this land. It is like nothing I ever experienced in the old world. Its potential applications are vast. Our very enclave itself is built near something quite special. Special and dangerous? Oh, you're sharp. No progress comes without danger. <clears throat> uh, take this bottle. Mind the cliffs. Follow the path into Brightwood, go through the grove, and then to the moat. You haven't told me what I'm looking for. Consider that part of your test. You will know it when you see it. Okay. Oh, um, one more thing. Do not anger the creatures there. You will find that discretion can often serve you far better than brute force. Okay. Discretion it is, then. This is not as discreet, but... Not that discreet, but relatively more discreet. I'm guessing this is what takes us the path up there. Right. Where does this go? Let's find out. Does this take us to that path? Whatever we have to collect. Okay, over here. It's going. It just keeps going. Oh, this does take us through there.
Oh. Wow. That's pretty. Okay, I think I know what we have to do. It's like it's staring me right in the face. 